evening everybody I'm just gonna find you all on my phone okay let's turn this down okay a few people are on You go, found you. Lovely. Welcome to Facebook Live with me, Stacey Marsh. Um, it's Tuesday evening here. We are the 2nd of November. Um, can't believe it's November. You're really high up, actually. I'm just going to move you down a bit. Ah, oh, that's a bit better. I don't think I'm looking up to the sky. Okay, welcome to my Facebook Live. Um, first live of November. Um, I can't believe we've got just a handful left now. Um, until the end of the year. Two months to go. What is going on? So, tonight I'm going to share with you a little bit of inspiration using some of the masks in the mini catalogue. Um, they're quite a hidden item, but they're really popular. Um, and they're really fun and they're really cheap too. So a really good product to add to your collection if you don't have them already. Um, bear with me tonight. I've been quite poorly over the weekend. Um, my poor family have been hit with a, um, we think it's a version of the norovirus, which is delightful. So um, first my youngest went down, then my eldest, then I did, then my eldest again, and now the husband, and I'm full of cold. So um, bear with me tonight. Um, I've been looking forward to this all day actually. Um, it's been a long day but I've, I'm glad to be here with you all. So um, we will make a start. Um, I will aim for two cards but we'll see how I feel. Um, and I hope you like. Please add your questions and comments um, as we go along. I'll try and keep up. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. So let's just flip my camera around. Oh, I'm just going to change my grid paper before I do that because no one wants to see messy grid paper do they so let's just move you all around let me see if i can see what you can see almost oops ah oh, thank you bev i hope i get better soon as well i'm a bit bored of feeling poorly don't do poorly So you can see my desk. So in the mini catalogue, and I wish I had one to hand, um, are these masks. And you get a set of four. Excuse me, I've just popped. I've been using them already. So you get a set of four masks. And they're super versatile. Just, I'm just putting my lights on. Better. okay so they're nice and versatile you get four masks in a set um, you've got this lovely candy stripe you've got this lovely swoopy design I don't know what you'd call that um, you have a little um, diamond pattern and then you have a snowflake one so we've already got some of these in the main catalogue and the Stampin' Up tend to bring out new ones every catalogue. And you can either use them with inks, you can use them with um, embossing paste. And they're just nice and easy to play with. So we're going to have a little go with the snowflakes to kick us off. Um, because I think the snowflakes are my favourite. And they are nice and Christmassy. So I tend to use my basic white card when I use these. There's no reason why, it just tends to be my go-to piece. So I'm going to cut a piece that is nine and a half centimetres wide. And then I want two pieces that are 13.9 centimetres long. Okay. So I've got one for the outside and one for the inside. down I've got my rolly chair so um, 
I can move around a bit easier. So I'm going to use my grid paper now. I'm just going to line it up so that it's nice and straight on my grid paper. Now, when I get these, the first thing I do is I mark with a little Sharpie pen which side is the top. OK, they're easy to keep clean. You just wipe them over with. Um, I tend to clean mine on my stamp scrub, if I'm honest, or with my chamois. Um, but you can wipe them over just with a damp cloth and leave them to dry. Um, and they will dry really nicely. So if you remember which side is the top, you know that the the underneath side is the side that's always going to be nice and clean. So I'm going to line this up on my grid paper as well so that everything is straight. OK, this is where grid paper comes in really, really handy. Okay, Just moving up a little bit so you guys can see it a bit better. Now, you can secure that down with a bit of washi tape or if you're careful enough, you can hold it in place. Okay, I tend to use a post-it note. So with the post-it note, this is my sticky side. I'm going to hold that down with the post-it note. OK, so the sticky side is attached to my hands. So the bottom side is nice and unsticky. I'm really struggling with my words this evening. Bear with me, guys. This might be quite interesting. Um, and then I'm going to use a blending brush to add my ink to. So I tend to have my blending brushes in colours. So I've got a blue one, a green one, a red one, a yellow one, and so on. OK, so I'm going to use Balmy Blue for my snowflakes. So thinking along the frozen lines, um, and I'm going to hold that in place. Now just tap on a little bit of ink, tap off any excess on your grid paper, and then you're going to carefully add your colour. The trick with these masks is to not push too hard because you don't want to move it, um, but you want to hold it in place nice and firm. Okay. And I like to just go round in little circles with my mask, with, with my blending brush. Okay. And it's a labour of love. The faster you move, the more chance you have of actually moving it. Okay. And I like this mask because there's quite a lot of um, mask as opposed to stencil. You can really hold it in place quite well. No, I've not inked down there, so I shouldn't get any ink on my hands. Not only does it stop you getting ink on your hands, but also if you've got any, um, if you've just used hand cream or you've got any sort of residue, you know, oil from your hands, it won't damage your blend either. I don't know about you, but the amount of... Um, the amount of um, anti back I'm still using and hand cream. Okay, I think I've got that back in place. That's better. Okay. Yeah, the amount of times I'm still washing my hands and anti backing and using hand cream my poor hands are don't know if they're coming or going again okay evening to you sir i can see a few people have just left a few little comments okay. so i think that's most of my stencil covered my mask covered so now when we lift this off, and I love this, I've always loved this, when you take it off, you've got a lovely background piece. And what I love even more about these masks is when you use a blending brush, you get a real difference in look with your ink. So if I show you, I don't know if I've got any balmy blue card here, I do have balmy blue card. So this is balmy blue cardstock, okay, and that is the matching ink. So you've got a lot of nice different tones there of the same colour. And I just think it looks really pretty. 
so I'm going to use that as the basis of my card as the background to my card um, and I just want to break up a little bit of that white so I'm going to take a stamping blend this is a dark balmy blue stamping ben, blend pen and I'm going to use the felt tip end I'm just going to add a little bit of ink splash to that now you need to go careful when you do this because if you press too firmly it will damage the tip of your blend it will split it um, so if you're a fan of colouring with that felt tip end I'd recommend you either don't do this very often or you do it very very lightly okay I tend to colour with the fine tip end so for me it doesn't matter too much if any damage happens to that felt tip end um, so that is my little background piece okay and we're going to make a nice little snowy themed card with it so i'll try and be quite quick so that we can make something else as well so i'm going to use my trusty crumb cake card another crumb cake um, and i'm gonna score i'm gonna cut this at ten and a half centimeters like so and then i'm gonna turn it round and i'm gonna score at 14.9 Okay. Oh, score not cut, Stacey. Put my trimmer down there. Give that a little fold. Are you all hanging in there? I'm aware that Bake Off is on, which is a really bad move of mine, isn't it, to do a live whilst Bake Off is on. Um, we always watch it on a Wednesday. Um, we watch it when my eldest gets home from school. So no spoilers, please. Um, but I'm very excited to watch this week's. Okay. Pop that on like so. Okay, so that is my little background for my cards. So it's nice and quick, nice and easy. These are really good to make a batch of, um, so you've got them to hand. So effectively, we're making our own patterned paper, um, which is always a nice little touch. Um, I'm going to cut with some crumb, not crumb cake. This is craft card. So it's ever so slightly different in colour to crumb cake cardstock. This is also in the gingerbread and peppermint suite, um, which is where you'll find these masks in the mini catalogue. Um, it's smooth on one side and it's textured on the other. It doesn't matter which side you use, um, but I'm going to cut a banner. This banner die um, is really handy. I really quite like this banner die. It comes from the stockings dies which is part of the Sweet Stockings Suite, which is this set. Is this set. It is the one with the cute little pets. Okay, so I'm going to cut that banner out with that. Cardboard, yes, Jane, cardboard. Who thought we'd love cardboard as much as we do? running this through my cutting machine and you get a really nice finished banner um, so it's nice and stitched it's a real lovely deep stitch that you get as well um, and I am going to use something that is really old but really nice so when you think of snow, you think of snowmen, and I'm going to use this. This has been around for, I think, three catalogues now. Um, it just keeps going and going and going, and I forget I have it, and every time I use it, I love it again. So we made this little project, I'll share this with you, at a team event that Michelle last held uh, many years ago. It's a really cute little um keepsake book um with little pullouts and this was the paper that went with this suite if you recall um so this has got my little snowman on the front here and i'm going to use him again so we're going to do a little bit of stamping now i'm going to bring in a piece of white and i'm going to use this image here okay so let's stamp him. I'm going to stamp him in soft suede. So I'm tying it in with all the sort of brown 
tones. Okay. Evening all, Debbie, no worries. It's lovely to have you with us. Give him a nice little stamp. Definitely find the evenings I feel worse than I do during the day. So to colour him in, I've just got some stamping blends and I'm going to use crumb cake, light and dark. I've got some balmy blue and I've got some dark pale papaya. So with him, obviously we're not going to be able to add him to the card in that little scene. Um, or we could, but the way I envisage it, we were not going to be doing that. Um, so I'm just going to colour in the main part of the snowman. So I'm going to start with a little bit of light crumb cake. And I'm going to add a little bit of shading just where the stamp set, the stamped image kind of shows us. So there's going to be a bit of shading at the bottom. And there's going to be a little bit of shadow in where kind of things meet. So I'm building up my colour gradually. I'm going to add in a little bit of dark crumb cake now to bring in a bit more shadow. Like so. And then I'm going to use the colour lifter. The colour lifter is always your best friend with stamping blends because it just blends all your colours together really, really nicely. Okay. So he's a bit of a, a vintagey looking snowman. So that's blended that together quite nicely. And then I'm going to use dark pale papaya for his nose. This is a boy snowman, I've decided. Um, and then add some little colour to the snowman's scarf with some balmy blue. And this is just bringing in the colour from our patterned paper that we've done here. Add in a little bit of shadow with the dark blue. My preference for colouring is always light then dark then light. Everyone's different but it's just the sort of practice that I found works for me. Okay, put all those to one side and I'm going to fussy cut him out a little bit. A bit neater than that. Follow that round. There is another lovely, lovely snowman in um, the mini catalogue that was in last year's catalogue. He's really vintagey looking. Um, I personally haven't bought that. I've stuck with this one. Um, and this one you'll find in the main catalogue. Okay. Bev, you use this for your swaps. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's where I thought, oh, I remember I've got that stamp set. I'll use that. And here we are. Okay, so I'm just following it around, being careful not to cut off any important bits. I think you get a really nice little look when you stamp and colour with the coloured ink pads. The brown is definitely a lot softer than the black ink pad. So, just following it around, being careful not to cut off any of these twigs. Just like so. Okay, so there we have our finished snowman, and I think he looks really nice with that background. 
we're going to do a little bit more to that though okay so i'm going to bring my banner in now and obviously he looks a little bit lost on there so let's grab one of these so these are wonderful snowflakes and they are wonderful actually these are from the the whimsy and wonder suite okay and these are little press out snowflakes okay so they just pop out and they've got a really nice little iridescent style shimmer to them I don't know if you can see that very well um, but they catch the light quite nicely um, and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping now so for my sentiment I am going with let it snow from this stamp set so let's bring that in and we're gonna emboss with white embossing powder Uh, Louise, sorry I'm late. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to order next. Oh, exciting. What's on your list? Do tell us. Let it snow, let it snow. It's almost time to play a little bit of Michael Bublé singing this. Merry Snowflakes and Be Jolly. Oh, that sounds good. Where's the lid to my... Put that back in there. Okay. So the white embossing looks really nice on the craft card. There we go. So it's just starting to change. just like so okay so we've got a little bit of white embossing and now we can start putting our card together okay. evening mum mum has just joined oh i've made a little face on the back of my tag no, you've got a vet bill to pay. Oh, nice. I hope your pet is okay. So let's stick this down. I'm just going to put it a little bit higher than our white card. Do you know what makes me really happy about these snowflakes? Is that they are the same shape as a dimensional. So if you did want to layer it on, it's really easy. Thank you for that stamping up. Anyway, we digress. So let's put this on. I think the medicine is kicking in. So I'm going to lay this on about there, I reckon. Try and get it on so it's straight. And then we can add our little snowman. So our little snowman is dancing with the snowflake behind him. He looks quite happy, doesn't he? Let's pop this on. Yeah. So this card is coming together quite nicely. So let me know what you think so far. Keep thinking I need the snowflakes you have there. Louise, I'm not going to lie, I love them. Oh, thanks Paula, Auntie Paula. Love the snowflakes. The snowflakes are cute, aren't they? I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle. That's beautiful. I love it. Thanks, Hilary. So I'm just going to add a few little gems by means of a little sparkle. Our snowman loves a bit of sparkle. And these are, what are they called? These are the subtle shimmer sequins. You get 800 in the pot and you've got white and you've got a matte silver and you've got a shiny silver. So these are quite handy. I've used these quite a lot. If you're doing my whimsy class at the weekend, watch out when you open your kit. Um, I've tried to secure these 
as well as I can. You've all got a little scoop each, so I've tried to secure them as well as I can, but I've found them in many places where I did my kits yesterday, so watch out. Okay, so just add a few little snowflakes. Love the layout, thank you. So there we have our little snowman, very happy he is. Just need to do the inside. So remember I cut two pieces of white at the beginning. Okay. Bringing back in our snowflake, remember which one is the top. So this is where I started with this card. I started with the snowflake mask and I'm just gonna add a few little snowflakes in the bottom corner. So bring my ink pad back in. And my blending brush, I'm just gonna be quite gentle and add in just a little bit of snowflake pattern, like so. And then I'm gonna finish off with a little sentiment inside, which is quite sweet. It says, helping this season, hoping this season builds heartwarming memories. That's here. I'm gonna stamp in soft suede, which is, the colour that we stamped the snowman with. Okay. Is that mask a new one? It's in the mini catalogue. You'll find it in with the gingerbread and peppermint sweet. You get four in a pack and they are quite nice. Okay, so there we have our first finished card of the evening. And you can see, now if I bring that up close, the, the colour on that snowman. He looks quite vintagey, and that was just the look that I was going for. And you can see the little shimmer on the sequins as well. Okay, so that's our first card of the evening. All done. Um, if you're happy, I will make another with you all. Um, and I am going to use this little mask love this little mask it's very cute okay so we are going to use a little bit of crumb cake card for this the blending brushes look amazing they are fab um, they come in a pack of three um, and they're great they're really soft really really soft um, and you can just clean them run them under the tap um, with some warm soapy water run them till that water runs clear and then they come up they you do get a little bit of color um, staining but they come up really really nicely actually I've got sort of a couple for different colors um, and I just rinse them through every week or so when I'm doing my general cleaning and they come up as good as new so I am going to do a little bit of blending on here and this time I'm going to blend with some Sahara sand. No, not Sahara sand, soft suede, okay. So, and this is onto crumb cake cardstock. So holding my cardstock in place and my mask in place with my hand just adding a bit of definition there like so okay just like that so that looks really nice on the crumb cake I think and I'm going to bring in my banner die and I'm going to cut that out Banner die comes from the sweet stockings. Sweet. It's the one with the lovely animals in. Okay, so I've got my little banner die now. And I'm going to use this one now. I love this stamp set. I think it's fabulous. So let's use our little Miss Hedgehog, shall we? Love little Miss Hedgehog. Oh 
think it's blocked very well. This block is bright pink. Okay, put that to one side. Let's give her a little stamp. Look at her, isn't she cute? So this is the Joyful Life stamp. Um, I've seen lots of lovely things made with it. So I was just thinking about what to do with this now. So let's give her a little colour, shall we? Let's colour her with crumb cake. Very cute. A lot of people have seen this stamp set and gone, why do we want hedgehogs and, and whatnot? But you, I can't resist a little cute stamp set. I just can't. If it's cute, I'll buy it. Let's add a little bit of definition. Just adding lots of little lines just to try and match what's going on with the image. not doing a traditional sort of blended look with this just trying to fill in the gaps so you can see she looks like this I'm gonna go with a little ivory face do you have the labels in the ends of the blends I do I do I love the labels it's changed everything and we have the lovely Sarah Berry to thank for the labels on the blends okay so she is coming together quite nicely she's got apples in there so we need to just add a little bit of color so I'm going to grab some red and some green Bowl. What colour of the bowl should we go with? Let's go for a Calypso Coral Bowl, shall we? Where do you get them from? Okay, so there is a lovely, lovely lady called Sarah Berry. Um, she's a stamping up demonstrator in the Pinkies team. Um, so in the team that I belong to. Um, and she has got a free download on her website that you are welcome to go and um, I think it's free anyway um, yes yeah, so if you look at Sarah look up Sarah Berry um, and it's just a sheet an A4 sheet that you print out and then you cut round them cut round them the circles and then just pop them on mine are all stuck on with a little glue dot um, and it's quite a nice thing to sit and do let's just have a little calypso coral bowl oh. most welcome louise enjoy I have found it really helpful actually to have the labels on the bottom, especially when they're in your storage, because you can see which one is which. Okay, and let's do her apron. Do a Calypso Coral as well. So I'm quite different with my colours here. Super excited for the bingo night. Can you let us know any sneak peeks? 
um, I can tell you that I've ordered everything for it and it's very exciting um, I've got a class this weekend so once that class is finished um, my next thing to plan is the bingo night so I'll let you into a little secret um, or not a secret at all um, but I never run events in December it's something I've never done um, I always take December off because for me it's about family and also it's super busy December for not just me but for everyone else so um I never do classes in December but I thought to celebrate this year it's been a good year we'll end the end the year with a bit of bingo so there are five games of bingo and between each game of bingo we'll do a little bit of craft and you'll get a little craft kit little card kit or maybe not a card kit there's a little sneak peek um and we will make something together and there's lots of prizes we can have some fun you can bring some nibbles you can bring some mince pie some mulled wine and it'll just be nice to finish the year with a little bit of festive fun and hopefully win some prizes which will be lovely Just going to cut her out now. What stamp sets am I using? No idea until I start designing. Um, but the stamp sets will probably be just for sentiments and maybe a little bit of background stamping. Um, so as soon as I have designed them, which will be in the next week or so, I will send you all some information. Okay. But yeah, I have a very big customer event this Saturday. So once that is done, I will know a bit more. Okay. Oh, I forgot the little holly leaf. How can we forget the little holly leaf? I keep opening this the wrong end now. A little Christmas see look at that one this blend is one of the first ones I ever bought but it still works which is always nice right so we've got little Miss Hedgehog and we've got our background piece and that's as far as we've got so we need a little bit of card I think so let's grab some zip oh no I had a Another piece of crumb cake. I did, but we've used it. Let's just grab some thick white oh, and some calypso coral. So calypso coral is not a colour that I would associate Christmas with, but we're going to change that now. Okay. So let's just trim this down. Ten and a half. It is ten and a half. It is lovely. It is now. Cut that little slither off. Are the packs ready to collect for this weekend's class? So they will be as soon as I've had chance to tell you. Yes, lovely. Um, so I finished them this morning. Um, but it's been a bit of a mental day here okay so let's just trim this down we'll have a nine and a half piece by a 13.9 okay so we're going to go with a similar sort of style to the card that we've just done so like so but I think we need to do something to this piece here. So I think I'm going to emboss that. And let's use one of these eyes. Should we use our trusty brick and mortar? Like this one. So let's just run that through. Now, when I finish tonight, I'm going to take a picture off my desk because it looks a bit crazy so let's just 
from the spray. That looks quite nice embossed. Should we put her on there? What do you think? Or should we have it like the same? Should we do it the same? Yeah, let's do it the same. Okay. Do I still have the pack available? I sure do, Debbie. Yes. I was going to message you about that today. So um, I've been a little bit off the radar today because I've got a poorly daughter and a poorly husband. Um, so I've tried to just kind of be present at home and be mum and make sure everyone's happy so apologies if I've not come back to you today so let's just stick that down oh thank you Sue I am definitely going to need a rest soon that's for sure okay they're okay thank you Louise we have all had this awful awful um, norovirus that seems to be doing the rounds here in Kent um, it's not been pleasant at all now I've just stamped that but I don't know if I like it I mean, she's quite cute on that little punch shall we add that there I think she looks quite cute on there let's add that okay. Oh, bless you, Mum. Thank you. I couldn't do it without you, that's for sure. Mum has been my little star helper this week. Um, I don't know if you saw yesterday, but even the dog was helping. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm just going to get that off there. Even the dog was helping. Okay, let's just dab that off. We can use a um, adhesive rubber to get rid of that. Okay, so then we've just got a little sentiment to put on. Okay, so the sentiment I've got here is season's greetings, but we've also got a little something for a great person. Now let's add season's greetings, shall we? Let's stamp that. And let's stamp that onto... Should we stamp that on? Shall we heat emboss that? Let's heat emboss that actually. Go back to what I love. Oh, Mum paid for it though. I know, I know. Made you poorly. We've all been poorly, haven't we? Yet again today, I have disinfected the whole house. You get sort of paranoid, don't you? Um, so I've disinfected the whole house, top to bottom. Cleaned all the door handles, hoovered, mopped, polished. Cleaned the beds. Um, in the hope that it can leave us alone it's all going around Louise isn't it I work in a school so I'm sure that's kind of not helpful um, but yeah we've all been poorly but don't worry whilst I was making the kits I was anti-backing my hands consist quite a lot okay, so let's just put that into a little banner thank you i hope that i'm recovered by the weekend oh i like it i'm liking this a lot now mm. 
might just swirl a bit of ribbon there under it. And you know what, tonight I'm going to get up from my desk once we're finished and I'm going to walk away and leave this mess here. Just don't tell my mum. Because I haven't got the energy to tidy it and I've got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> have a little bit of gold thread let's do a little swirl of it shall we Lovely, so let's put that there. How many of you are still watching and how many of you have given up, bless you? It's been a long one tonight. Like so, just trim that bit off. And then I'm going to add one last thing. And this is on my desk. This is from a card that I made at the weekend. And I'm just going to add a few little leaves, which I think will just bring it all together. Okay. So I shared this card that I made earlier. Not this particular one, but the one where these leaves come from earlier. And I think that green just brings it all together. So we've got our first card design that looks like this, followed by this one here. So same design, we've used masks. So the mask here has been used in the background and the mask here has been used on my banner. I'm going to use my adhesive rubber once that's dry to get rid of that tackiness. Um, and we've got two very, very different colours. Well, I say different, they're not massively different. Um, but yeah, let me know which what you think. Let me know which one you prefer. Um, it's been nice to spend a bit of time with you tonight. I've lasted a lot longer than I thought I would, 50 minutes. Um, I'm going to go and chill out for the rest of the evening. Um, get myself ready for work in the morning. Um, and that's it. I'll be in touch with everyone that needs to collect kits for this weekend in the next day. Um, and if you've got any questions about anything I've used tonight, anything I've done, anything I've said, please get in touch. Um, I'm really excited. We've got a really fabulous joining offer starting on the 4th of November. If you're not already signed up to Stamping Up, it would be a great time for you to join. Um, it is a starter kit reduction, so you can get the same um, size starter kit, which is £130 worth of product that you choose entirely yourself. Um, it can be anything that Stamping Up sell. Um, currently um, and you pay just £75. The normal price is 99 so it's been reduced um, by a little bit um, or quite a bit actually um, and that starts on the 4th of November. Um, if you've got any questions about that let me know um, and that's it from me guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and I will see you all very very soon. Bye for now.